Hey, mister. I just want to be left alone, all right? A sentiment I'm familiar with. Fair enough, kid. Holding hands with that dump. Come on, kid. Nice additions around here. Sorry, got nothing for you. I'm mother. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll get some. So up now. Yep. Easy. Move it! On your knees! Cancers! We will not take up a moment longer than we Yeah. <laughs> 
Never told you this, but you're quite a woman. Thank you. Quite a woman. Ah, you can make now a I can turn this into something special. Happy that you know how. I got Many work thanks, to do. Mr. Morgan. <clears throat> hey. You know, Arthur, I can always make you a new satchel if you're tight on space. Remember, you won't find something like this anywhere else. Appreciate it, Pearson. How are you on space in that bag of yours, Mr. Morgan? Just let me know if you need me to make you a new one. Nice work, Pearson. Good morning, Arthur. Thank you. 
Did the university send you? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laugh at Balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir! Good luck! I'll keep my eye out for you. Fine weather, ain't it? Sure is good. Easy, easy. Easy. 
Can I get five minutes without a fan badgering me? Hey. Ah, oh, ah, oh, God. Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too, Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe a shell. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear.
close. Hey, mister! Remember me? Come on over! Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Hmm. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Well, shit. Thanks, I guess.
Hello there. Miss Juniper says she's so happy with the job. Sorry, man. We're gonna do a little shopping. Welcome back. Likewise. So, what do you have for me? Come on, mister. Okay, let's take a look at it. Oh, I'd pay just about any price for this. No one yeah, nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. Yeah, that can be reinforced, no trouble. Oh, good choice. Ain't the first time. You take care now. Thank you for your help. Excuse me, madam, behind you. Hello. You know when you have one of those days? Yep. <laughs> Dang, you've been gone a while. And what do you want? Good evening, mister. Everyone in here is so wonderful. <clears throat> mister? I've had better days, that's for sure. It gets better. Ah, well, it ain't your problem. Be seeing you. Gentlemen. Have a nice evening, mister. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Anyway, folks, please don't mind me. See you around. Hello? No weapons. Come on. You Christ, keep the... on with that and you're... Oh, for the oh, love of God. God. Handle this. Ah. What? Ah. 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 